Hello and welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. I have something so fun, so phenomenal to share with you today. Our friend Janet Madison of RTS Scrapbooking came up with an idea because she had wanted to do this series, had planned on doing this series in 2025. And because of she is under some constraints due to life. She's had to pull back from sharing with this community. And I just have to let you know, if you know Janet at all, you know she loves the scrapbooking community. She loved sharing. And she loved the friendships that were born out of her sharing of her experience, her knowledge, her creativity, her wisdom. She loved those relationships. But life happens to all of us. And I don't want to talk about that too much. It's not my story to share. I just want us to have empathy and understanding to her uh, where she is right now. I am going to share with you my camera is is just slowly falling and i am so sorry about that i am of course on the road and i'm trying to make this video <laughs> i had fully intended to do something fun and a little funny with this i had asked uh when the the kit came to my house i of course was gone and i'd asked my husband to create a video to share with us um because I am on hotel Wi-Fi, I cannot get it to download so that I can then make the video that I wanted to create and get it to upload. Maybe at some point in time, I will share that with you because it's just, uh, it was funny. It was funny to me because it was a typical guy. He has no affinity for our uh precious precious embellishments and papers and he was just kind of like sliding through it <laughs> I thought it was so funny uh, I did tell him I was like when you share the embellishments like you have to show what we have because we're scrapbookers and, and we want to see all of it in the magic that is Janet and her brain, her creativity, she presented to, so this is the same photo. This is what uh, Teresa wanted. And I told Janet that I just, I liked the mood board. I just wanted deeper colors. And she took the same photo and made the colors deeper. I don't know how she did this. Like I said, it's it's the magic that is Janet that we love. And created my kit and she created Teresa's kit. I cannot wait to show you everything that she blessed us with. Give me one second, I'll start pulling some supplies in and share the details. The first thing I want to share, of course, is Janet's handwriting. You have to know how much that means to me and how much I love that she signed this mood board magic. Janet says, bringing magic to your layouts from mood board inspiration. Oh, do you see the many shades of red and the various hues of lovely blue? Mood board magic is here. Let's record the story, me and you. She made that up and she wrote that for us. This, of course, is going to be shared on my videos that I do for this mood board. And the goal is for everyone to play along. In whatever way that you want to play along, play along. On Love RTS, we have created an album for you to share your layouts as you create them. And whatever way you want to play, we want you to play with us and to share and keep this inspiration going. And it also will bless Janet that she can just at her time and at her leisure peek in on the album and draw inspiration as well. This first 
album, uh, I'm sorry, first kit is going to be very fall inspired. And she created embellishment packs for us. I stinking love everything that she created and that she placed in here. These felt little pumpkins, oh my goodness, look how adorable. Just look at that. And then we have these uh, metallic leaves. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I don't know for certain, but I almost feel like, because I remember that she had some die cuts from Tim Holtz. I almost feel like she used some of those die cuts. Those dies, I'm sorry. We have frames. These leaves here are felt. And this is just so special. So much texture that she's added. And I am just, my phone is just completely flipping here. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. And then we have these really cute frames. So thankful. Harvest of memories. Love this wood grain. I don't know that I've ever seen a frame like this. So cute. And then gingham. In this kit, in this packet, I guess you should, I should say, we have Lump and Bump. Now, this is Lump and Bump as well, but this is a different kind of Lump and Bump and different texture. These uh, wood veneer buttons are adorable. I just love them. And then we have these metal numbers. That we can add in. We have some adhesive brads. Let me look just to make sure. Yes, these are adhesive brads. We have actual brads that are leaves. Oh my gosh. Do you know how much I love fall? This is so wonderful. We've got wood veneer pumpkins and leaves. brads that are pumpkins, a different shaped leaf. So there's a, a variety of color, texture, and just different ways to add interest to our layouts. We've got this button. I love everything about this. I just can't say enough about it. I'm going to put this up and then come right back. Next, we have a pack of embellishments. These are the designs, the icons, and they are so cute, so fun. And they bring in all of those, the tones of the colors. I have got something orange on my finger from work. And then we have more felt stickers that are just completely adorable. So cute. And more of these, just a variety of frames. Love, I, I, I'm going to keep saying that. I love everything. I can't say it enough. So something I haven't played with in a very, very long time are these little buttons. And they are just tiny little details that will add just that perfect little finishing touch when you're making your clusters. Just a little sprinkling of something fun. I have enamel dots. Another pack of, that's more in the mauves in that tone, but I love the deeper colors of these embellishments. And it allows me to play with different themes that are not uh, so restricted to fall. Love that. We have these pearl stickers. Gorgeous. I love the, the more metallic tones. So we've got the pearl and then you go into like a cream colored and then we get into metallics. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Jolie's Boutique stickers and gems. 
and then we have these hearts that are from Studio Calico. These, oh, so versatile and can be used in so many ways. I'm, try, I'm struggling with what to show next. These leaves, gorgeous, from Prima. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. I love these. From Simple Stories, Bits and Pieces, from a Simple Vintage Country Harvest. This was one of my absolutely favorite uh, Simple Stories fall lines. Love, love, love. Enchanted Garden Ephemera from Fancy Pants. And it is very, this is the kind of designs, the icons that are great when you're creating those clusters. Just to have that little sprig, a little leaf, a little something extra. Love those. And then from 49 and Market, Inkwell Frame Set. Just a variety of different frames in those blues that's in our inspiration. To bring in more of the, the earth feel, you know, the earthy natural feel, we have more wood veneer and a fantastic title. Love this. And we, she gave us twine and let me get this open and these are flat backed and they have texture to them oh my gosh don't you just love these designs a beautiful plaid in the blue crunchy leaves yes 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 please I love this twine I don't know that I've ever had twine that color and then she made this I know she made this because she's made me some before and I love them I love these so stinking much she has such good taste in fabric I love it this will go into one of my journals because that's where I'm using the other ones that she gave me We have these antique tickets from Mocard. And this is what they look like. Aren't they amazing? I love these colors. And it's absolutely perfect for the inspiration color set that we have used. We have washi in a variety of styles and colors. And honestly, absolutely perfect perfect to use she is a genius at making kits uh, and I don't think anyone has ever ever doubted that but now we have these leaf buttons that are just they're so stinking cute so stinking cute they're not too thick and she gave us some chipboard so let's just open this up and look at it because we're crafters and we want to see all the things. And if you don't, skip through this. We've got titles, some design elements, things to layer and to create. Just amazing, oh my gosh, love that. I love, love, love her I love the way that she thinks about the, the total layout when she's creating. She doesn't add elements just for, just to get things used up. It, she wants it to have purpose and for it to work together. Next, we're going to be going through some, so this is foam stickers from Enchanted Garden by Fancy Pants. 
and let me pause and get my camera back up a little bit. Okay, let's try this again so we can get a little more in the frame. So we have great titles here that we could use and in an amazing color. You know I love a good green. We have from Heidi Swap some numbers in the colors scheme. I believe every single one of these colors will work. We have a really thin alpha from Freckled Fawn in a gorgeous deeper red. From Simple Stories, we have a wood grain. This is Aspen. From Hip Kit, we have this gorgeous blue puffy sticker. It is leaning toward a teal, but it's, it's, it has more blue in it. Beautiful. And then from American Crafts, we have these gold alphas. And then from Doodlebug, we have these orange. So we have a variety of sizes of fonts to play with that just will make gorgeous titles. And then we have these that are already made titles. She gave us some from Not Just For Boys, some cutouts. And I'll, this, I love these. So we've got a title, and then we have something, just a design element that we can use on our page. You've fallen again. I'm so sorry that my phone keeps doing this. She has blessed us with sticker sheets and a notebook for our fall notes. Such a cute notebook. And then our sticker sheet. And this one is Fall Break from Cartabella for me. I wanted to share this. This is like uh, a Ticket Edge punch from We Are Makers. And I don't have this. I'm so tickled to get it. So tickled. She is beyond generous. I, I don't, I can't say enough words about it. So now let's get into the paper. And let me adjust again so that the whole paper is in. Yeah, we're just going to have to make do with this. Okay. From Cartabella, Fall Blessings. This is almost, a, looks like a wood grain, but it's just kind of painterly. It's called Autumn Trees. I absolutely love this print. From We Are, we've got Indian Summer. And I love this. I love the papers that she chose. From, Fant uh, from Mente Papers, we have Golden Days. A gorgeous hound's tooth. And then the cut logs. We have a wood grain from Jen Hadfield, Warm and Cozy. Love this text. Love the leaves. From We Are Indian Summer, we have Daydreamer. Got a geometric pattern and then this looks almost like a concrete wall. It's just very textural. From Photo Play, 
we have uh, Meadows Glow. This is called Vintage Mushroom, this print. And then, of course, we have these Vintage Mushrooms over here. This knit from Sweater Weather by Hip Kit. And then a very geometric pattern. Look at that. Love those leaves. She also gave us some clues about what she was thinking when she picked out the paper. So she, she liked this one for a background. These look like uh, just old doors or window casings. Not casings. The shutters on windows from Mente Papers. This is called Fall Festival. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous rose and a deeper burgundy floral. But I really like that she wrote some ideas. So when Teresa and I were chatting, we were we really kind of want to lean into her some of her ideas and to kind of stretch us creatively as well. This is Acorn Lane from Simple Stories. This is called Falling Leaves, this pattern. And we've got a nice plaid and of course we have the falling leaves. We have this metallic leaf pattern. Uh, this is fussy, going to be fussy cut. I can I'm already tell you. I uh, cannot wait to just cut around these and to use these to tuck into different clusters. From Simple Stories Forever Fall, we have this petite floral, these little clusters, and then another geometric pattern. From, from Simple Stories Forever Fall, this is called Be Grateful, and it's a denim and a floral pattern. Love, love, love. From Echo Park Fall, this is journaling cards. We have this petite tone on tone leaf, and then of course the four by four journaling cards. From Reminisce, we have from Autumn Vibes, Autumn Medley. We've got this natural nature print and then a tone on tone pumpkin and different squash patterns we have textured cardstock cinnamon by simple stories this has got that uh, uh, polka dot and then this is just plain echo park fall this is called leaf pile and then we have just a ge geometric print there and then these gorgeous leaves. Hello Fall by Cartabella. This is called Autumn Breeze. And this looks like a blanket stitch almost, and then a gorgeous fall plaid. Hello Autumn by Cartabella. This is called Fall Floral. We have this X pattern, and then a gorgeous cluster of florals. This is Simple Stories, Harvest Lane, and I stinking love this. Didn't even know this existed. She dug into the archives and gave us some of her older patterns, and I am so tempted to just hold on this forever. <laughs> this is from 2012. Oh my goodness. Do you... Do you know? I just want to hold this to my heart and love it. Ugh, it's beautiful. Let's see. Who is this from? This is from 49 and Market. Spice. This is called Spun Gold. And I love, love the tones. Love it. From Fall Farmhouse. This is called Simply Thankful by Simple Stories. We have a polka dot and then we have this floral on a dark background. She says there's navy blue leaves as embellishments patterns. There's 14. So by the Four Seasons Autumn P13 
This is Tone on Tone Leaf Patterns. And then we have this beautiful print and a little hedgehog. Simple Stories, Cozy Days. This pattern is called Chili Days. We've got a floral, and then we have this petite floral on an orange field. From Farmstead Harvest, we've got Fall Confetti, Dark. This was by American Crafts. And then we have, this is, it's almost tone on tone, but you've got these dark centers of these. It almost looks like if you took a dandelion and pushed it down into paint, this almost looks like the design that it would create. We have a wood grain from Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Country Harvest. This is called Give Thanks. And don't you just love the pumpkins? Can't have enough pumpkins. This feels like 49 and Market. We've got this leaf pattern in these gorgeous tones. And then we have pumpkins. This is also from Spice and it's called Russet. From Cartabella, Hello Fall, we have three by four cut aparts. And she's using, uh, she's thinking of this as icons and then she's got five. Talking about going back into the archives, she has shared Lily B Design from 2013. This is called Spice Latte. How stinking fine. This is going to be another one. I'm going to have to make myself use it so that I don't hoard it. Oh, love this text. And then we have these cut aparts from Vicki Booten. Create, discover and create. I don't think I have any, I'm trying to think, did I buy Discover and Create? I don't think I did. But we have those cut apart. And then she's got three text. We have these, like, like if you went to the library and they dated your book when you checked it out. And then this very watercolor pattern uh, really, really looks like mixed media. This is from Crate Paper in 2012, called Acorn Avenue. From Simple Stories, Acorn Lane, this is called Autumn Vibes. We have a fox frolicking in the leaves, and then this gorgeous plaid. And she wrote on this side, so she was thinking about this plaid. And I, I've mentioned before, we are really wanting to lean into her thoughts as she created these kits. From Mente, Golden Days. This is called, let's see if this has a name. It just says Golden Days. Okay, so we have this wagon wheel with these beautiful floral clusters on it. And then we have this gorgeous, gorgeous plaid. That is the papers. I have one more thing to share with you from Janet. And then we will wrap this video up. But I wanted to share it last because it is so precious. And I'm going to use it sparingly. I'm just telling you that right up front. This will be used sparingly. That she shared with us. This rickrack is from her grandmother's seamstress shop. This is going to be... It, it is so precious to me that she shared something from her grandmother. This is heirloom. This For me, it's heirloom. And that she would give gift us something so precious is just indicative of her heart and how much she loves this community, how much she loves us, and how much she loves sharing and creating. So my challenge to you is, is to show Janet love through this process and through this series if the inspiration boards that we chose don't inspire you, that is fine. Choose something that does inspire you, but share your creations and play along. I encourage you from the bottom of my heart to just play and, and, and create. We want to see what you make. We will definitely be sharing what we create as well. Thank you for joining me. 
come back and we will chat again soon. Bye-bye.